Have you ever wondered what we vegans drink? No, not really. Well, anyways, we drink soy milk. So, what is soy milk? Soy milk is derived from soy. And soy is kind of a bean, similar to chickpeas. If you have a look here, chickpeas. It's very similar to salt, but it's completely different in texture and the nutrients. So, you get that bean, how do you prepare it? You gotta cook it, boil it, rinse it, strain it, and the juice I get from it is soy milk. But why do people drink it? Well, a lot of people are allergic to dairy, so soy milk is superb for that. And then it also has zero fat, so that lowers your risk of cholesterol, lowers risk of cancer, diabetes, and many other diseases. But there are many different types of soy milk. So, in this video, I'm gonna go through three different soy milks from three different shops and go through their taste, texture, why I would use it for, and their nutritional content. Let's get started. I hope I'm in frame now. This has been a bit of a mishap. Soy milk number one. You see this in most places. This is Alpro. You have a number of different types of these. You have like the original, you also have light, and I think there's a few more coming out soon. So let's pour this into a glass and really see what it looks like and I can describe the taste as well. As you can see, it's white. The taste is super smooth and silky. You don't really taste the bad stuff that some other soys have. Yeah, I really like this one. You can definitely drink it by itself. A common trend that I'm going to see throughout this video is that these soy milks have added vitamins such as calcium, B12, and also minerals. So that's a huge plus side. Soy milk number two. This soy milk is called Acleaf and you can find it in all Aldi's and Aldi's is a super milk that's found all around the world and super popular in Ireland. So I'm actually going to open it right here. As you can see it's very similar to the Alpro but it's a tiny bit more thicker and milkier. It's kind of creamier as well. Yeah, exactly. You can taste the sweetness in this one from Aldi. I bet it has some added sugars and added sweeteners because it just doesn't taste like pure soy milk. And I shall also clarify that you can get unsweetened soy milks, which are lower calories, but I personally don't like them because the taste is not, it's not that great. Soy milk number three. This one is found in Tesco. And I'm sure you already know what Tesco is. Let's open it. In color itself, it's very similar to the little one. And compared to the Alpro, it's, you can see the difference. This one has sort of a dry taste to it, which is hard to kind of fathom. But yeah, it kind of has a weird taste and it leaves It leaves an unpleasant sensation on your tongue. I'm not a huge fan of this. And this is a sweetened one. The unsweetened one is even, it's healthier, but it's just not as smooth. Like this one is a lot more smoother and Alpro one just tastes amazing. Let's go through these. These two are brilliant if you just want to drink them by themselves. They work perfectly. I don't really drink milk with my tea or coffee, so I don't know about that. But most soy milks, you shouldn't really add them to hot liquids anyways. And this one, I would definitely not drink this by itself. I would have to have some oats or some cereal with it. Or, or perhaps I could even use it for cooking. Now let's talk about the prices of these three. This one is 189. That's one year 89 cent. 75 cent and 75 cent. So these are a lot cheaper, but if I was to pick one of these three, Bear in mind, I had no limits on my budget. I would definitely pick the Alpro. 
However, if my budget is limited, this is a this is a near second. So let's dive deeper and talk about these milks on a macro level. Okay, it turns out that this one is from Ali, so sorry about that. I'll definitely put some annotations and disclaimers saying that showing this through this video, but let's compare them. It's gonna be really hard to see, so I'm gonna take these two at the start and I'm gonna bring in the Alpro then. So they are both made from soybeans, which is great. However, this one is 7% soybeans, while this one is 6. That's a bit of a difference. Then the remainder of the ingredients are pretty standard throughout soy milks. One great thing about these cheap ones is that they are both sweetened with apple extract. And this is fabulous because I'm not a huge fan of refined sugar and this is a huge plus for me. Then talking, looking through the different macros, the Aldi one has a bit more calories, a bit more fat and a bit more carbs. However, it has less protein. So just looking at the ingredients, this one is far more pure and it's simpler in construction. However, this one tastes better. So next thing, let's compare the, this Actileaf from Aldi to Alpro. So yeah, instant difference. 39 calories per 100 ml, while this one has 45. Not a huge difference, but if you care about that stuff, it's important. The Alpro has less fat, less carbs, less salt, but also less protein. So in a sense, it's just a simpler version of this and has less of everything. However, one thing that really stands out to me is that this has 8% soya beans and it does not use apple extracts. So this one has less of that natural stuff and it's a bit more chemically produced. Okay, now let's talk about vitamins and minerals. The Tesco basic one, the sweet one, has the most vitamin D. Absolutely fabulous, I'm a huge fan of that. They all really had the same amount of riboflavin, so none complain. But, who would have thought it, the Tesco sweetened has the highest amount of vitamin B12. And as a vegan, some, you might be lacking that, so this is a great thing to see. Now, let's talk a bit more about soy milk. You can store this in your cabinet, not in a fridge, for maybe a year or two, and it won't go off, it'll taste just as good. However, when you open it, you have to put it in a fridge, and it should be eaten in around four to five days after opening. I try to keep it in three because then it's super smooth, but yeah, I've had it last a week as well. Then, once you have the carton in the fridge, you should always shake it really roughly, right before you open it and pour it in. This process of shaking doesn't allow the bad soya to stay at the bottom and it mixes it in so it all tastes the same. Really important step, always do that. You don't really have to do that with cow's milk, but this is crucial. You should probably know that drinking soya milk compared to cow's milk is not really more expensive or a hindrance in any case. It's so, and it has so many more benefits because cow's milk, you can't put it in your cabinet if you don't feel it. You can't store it for months, for years. And the taste is all over the place. And as well as that, you can get a bad batch and that is awful. With soy milk, it's so reliable. It's the same price and it's absolutely amazing. So. I'm not telling you to go vegan in this video, I'm not trying to preach anything, but maybe give soy milk a try because you'll like it, I'm telling you, it's super good. Anyways, this has been my video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.